Jesus' bloody shoes Hit the school, I can get them both I don't wanna choose And I'm quick, cut a nigga off So don't get comfortable, look I don't dance now, I make money move Say I don't gotta dance, I make money move If I see you now, speak That means I don't fuck with you I'm a boss, you a work a bitch I make bloody move Now she say she gon' do what a who What is going on YouTube land? This is Chris Catalunya. Before we get into the video, check out the Instagram on the bottom left, subscribe to my channel on the bottom right if you haven't already, and if you enjoyed this video at the end, hit me up with a thumbs up. Alright, into the video. So I'm super late on this review. I have two t-shirts that I'm reviewing from week six and seven, but also this is when they were having these shipping issues where no one was getting their items for like a couple days or sometimes even a week. And I know a lot of y'all are probably like, why are you even doing this video so late in the game? I'm doing this pretty late in the game. Uh, I'm looking on YouTube, looking at other reviews, and I just don't see too much in terms of like quality content concerning these uh, particular t-shirts. All right, so the first shirt that we are looking at is the TVT. Now this TVT came out during week six. And week six, if you don't remember, was when they were dropping the Nan Golden stuff. Uh, the stuff of controversy. It was deemed to be a very weak week and then all of a sudden they're like oh snap we're gonna spring these summer teas on these people and I think Supreme had a strategy. I don't know if this was actually like supposed to release in this time. I think they just uh, went back in their like repository and was like let's we got to release something that's more hyped so they decided to release the summer tea. Don't hold me to that. That's just something that's coming from my thoughts. Definitely the summer teas kept that week going. So this is the Supreme TV tee, and it just features the TV and it's like covered in fur, black and white or the static. I like the old features of the knobs on the TV because I remember my grandma had an old TV and they would it would only go up to like 10 different channels and the volume would only go up to like level 10 or something like that. And it also had rabbit ears for the antenna. So this is kind of cool. There isn't anything else really on the t-shirt. It's just a plain black t-shirt. Looking at the tag, it's just the regular Supreme tag, box logo, pre-shrunk, 100% cotton, made in USA. In terms of fitment, you all know that Supreme stuff tends to fit a little bigger. Now, I usually wear a size small, but it's pretty much impossible for you to catch anything on retail in a size small unless you're using a butt. So I, that's why I went for a medium. But in putting on a medium, is still too big. I'm not too sure what a small would fit like, but I would imagine that it would fit bigger still. Now this t-shirt retailed on the Supreme website for $36. Looking at StockX or like Grailed or other applications, you can find this tee going for about, uh, in this specific size, a size medium, this t-shirt is going for about $174. So that is quite a markup if you still have these laying around. Now the next tee that I have came from week number seven, I believe. That's when North Face was releasing all of that shiny crap. Um, honestly, the only thing that caught my eye during that week was the t-shirt and the hoodie. So I was actually able to catch a white t-shirt and it's the white metallic logo. So it came in that bag and the bag was actually like resealable. So that's awesome. So you can put it back in the bag and give it to someone if you wanted to. Uh, looking at the t-shirt, here it is. It pretty much just says the North Face in their logo and then Supreme in the box logo. And uh, I don't really know how I feel about this shirt. I mean, it's a cool shirt. This kind of reminds me of like 90s PowerPoint uh, when we were all using like gradients uh, in our backgrounds. That, that's what it kind of reminds me of. It doesn't really give me that metallic feel. But in terms of screen printing quality, I definitely think it is of good quality. I do screen printing on the side, so that's how I know. Uh, it does look like it is good quality. Uh, the shirt actually feels really premium. Uh, judging this against the Supreme t-shirt or the TVT, this definitely feels way better than that uh, TVT. The TVT was pretty coarse and uh, it, it, your nips will chafe. Other features on this tee, you'll see that the tag is not like the other t-shirt. It actually has like three different labels on it. It has the North Face logo, the Supreme logo is the sizing, tags in how to care for your t-shirt, which is pretty cool stuff. And then looking on the back of the t-shirt, you'll see that same design on the back right shoulder. And it just says the North Face logo and the Supreme box logo. 
Now, in terms of sizing, I definitely think this would be more true to size. Uh, I got a medium in the shirt. Again, I wear size smalls, but I'm pretty sure if I got a small, it would fit a little more snug than what the TVT would if I would have gotten a small in that. Also, I had forgotten to mention that this comes with North Face tags. So if you are buying this from someone and they say it's definitely like dead stock, uh, make sure it has the tags on it. Now, copying this on the Supreme website, this was retailing for $54 at $10 for shipping. Now, looking at third-party apps like StockX or Grub, you can easily find this t-shirt going for about $110, uh, $109, and that's in a size medium. So that was just a quick recap of what I got back in week six and in week seven. What did you cop during those weeks? Did you take a win, take a loss? Let me know down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, that's pretty much it. We'll check you later. Cheers. Thank you.